Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Apple's 2025 smartwatch lineup is almost here, and while many expected the Apple Watch Series 11 to be a massive leap forward, new leaks suggest some surprising news. From the updated S11 chip to blood pressure monitoring, 5G red cap connectivity satellite features, and watchOS 26 upgrades, there's a lot to unpack. In this video, I'll break down everything you need to know about the Series 11, the rugged Apple Watch Ultra 3, and the budget friendly SE3. I'll also tell you whether you should upgrade now or wait. The Apple Watch has come a long way since its debut in 2015. What first launched as a stylish iPhone companion has grown into one of the most advanced health and fitness wearables on the planet relied upon daily by millions. Over the years it has evolved from simply mirroring notifications to tracking workouts, monitoring heart health, detecting falls, and even saving lives. And now, in 2025 Apple is preparing its next wave of wearables. The Apple Watch Series 11, the Apple Watch Ultra 3, and the Apple Watch SE 3. But there's a twist recent leaks suggest that one of the biggest expectations a revolutionary new processor may not be as groundbreaking as many hoped. In this breakdown, I'll cover all the latest reports and rumors from the new S11 chip to possible blood pressure tracking satellite connectivity 5G red cap support watchOS 26 features pricing and whether it's worth upgrading or sticking with the Series 10.S11 chip small steps, not giant leaps at the heart of the new lineup is the S11 chip. According to internal Apple code, leaks the S11 is built on the same T8310 architecture that powered the S9 and S10. This means it's not a complete redesign, but rather an optimized update. Apple has followed this strategy before the S6, S7, and S8 chips were all based on the same foundation with slight refinements. While some fans may be disappointed, Optimization is often more important than raw speed in wearables. For example, the S10 was slimmer, making space for larger batteries or sensors. The S11 is expected to continue this approach focusing on efficiency, stability, and battery life rather than dramatic performance gains. If it makes watchOS 26 smoother, extends daily usage, and supports new health features, it will still be a solid upgrade. Connectivity LTE out 5G REDCap in one of the most exciting rumor changes is a move from LTE to 5G REDCap. Unlike the blazing fast 5G on iPhones, REDCap reduced capability is a low-power wearable-friendly version of 5G. It's designed specifically for small devices like smartwatches and IoT gadgets. The benefits? Lower battery drain than standard 5G faster response times for messaging and Siri stronger coverage even in weaker areas more independence from the iPhone while you won't be streaming movies to your wrist. Everyday tasks like syncing fitness data sending texts and running apps should feel noticeably smoother. Satellite connectivity safety anywhere another rumored feature is satellite connectivity. Apple introduced this first on iPhones for emergency SOS and the Apple Watch could be next. Imagine being off-grid hiking, camping, or traveling in a rural area. With satellite support, the watch could still send emergency alerts or even basic text messages without cellular service. Leaks suggest this feature will start with the Apple Watch Ultra 3, which makes sense given its adventure-focused branding. But there's a good chance it could expand to the Series 11 down the line since Apple consistently pushes safety features across its entire lineup. Health tracking the blood pressure breakthrough health remains Apple's top priority, and in 2025, the focus looks to be blood pressure monitoring. Unlike traditional cuffs that provide exact readings, the Apple Watch is expected to detect patterns of hypertension warning users if their blood pressure is consistently trending high. It won't replace medical grade equipment, but it could act as an early warning system prompting users to see a doctor before serious issues arise. Considering how common hypertension is worldwide, this could be a life saving feature joining Apple's growing health suite that already includes ECG. A fib detection and blood oxygen monitoring. WatchOS 26 smarter and sleeker. The Series 11 will launch with WatchOS 26, which introduces several big upgrades. Workout Buddy AI coaching using Apple intelligence. The watch can act like a personal trainer with realistic trainer voices giving live encouragement during workouts. New design language a liquid. Glass style interface matching iOS 26 with smoother animations and modern visuals. Improved smart stack and control center more intuitive widgets and a faster way to access controls. Sleep score tracking finally catching up with Fitbit and Garmin Apple will give users a single recovery score based on sleep quality, heart rate variability, and oxygen levels. Some of these features may be exclusive to the Series 11 at launch a move Apple often uses to boost new hardware sales. Design no major changes. This year if you're hoping for a new look, don't hold your breath. 
The Series 10 was the redesign year bringing slimmer bezels and a larger display. Apple typically updates designs every three years so the Series 11 will likely keep the same chassis. Expect the same strap, same rectangular shape, and no round face this year is all about internal upgrades. Pricing what to expect pricing remains uncertain, but there are two possibilities if Apple adds 5G red cap and blood pressure monitoring. Prices may rise slightly if not Apple could keep pricing the same to drive upgrades. The Ultra 3 will almost certainly stay at its premium $799 price point. Meanwhile, the Series 10 will see price drops once the Series 11 launches, making it a solid budget-friendly alternative. Apple Watch SE 3 Affordable Power alongside the Series 11 and Ultra 3 Apple is expected to release the Apple Watch SE 3.IT, will use the same S11 chip, but will likely skip premium features like blood pressure monitoring. The SE lineup is all about delivering core Apple Watch features at a lower cost, so expect a familiar design, fewer sensors, but smooth watchOS 26 performance. Final thoughts refinement, not reinvention, the Apple Watch Series 11 Ultra 3 and SE 3 aren't a radical overhaul. Instead, they represent refinement, smarter software, stronger connectivity, and meaningful health upgrades. If you're after a completely new design, you'll need to wait a few more years. But if better battery life, AI coaching 5G red cap, and potential blood pressure monitoring sound useful, the Series 11 could be a worthy upgrade. So that's the full picture of Apple's upcoming smartwatch lineup, the Series 11 Ultra 3 and SE 3. This year may not be about radical design changes, but rather refinement, smarter features, and meaningful health upgrades that could still make a huge difference in daily life. Now I want to hear from you. Are you planning to upgrade to the Series 11, or do you think the Series 10 still offers the best value? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. If you found this breakdown helpful, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming deep dives into the iPhone 17 M5 MacBook Pro and more Apple leaks. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.